Hey guys, and welcome back to Latasha Hewitt Homes. Thanks for stopping by my channel where we talk about all things home. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Well, one of my most popular videos on my channel is when I tried out the pink stuff um, in my oven. And I said, hmm, this worked really well. So when I saw Dollar Tree came out with their little dupe, the multi-purpose cleaning paste, notice any similarities? I said, I want to try this one. I want to see if it stands up to the pink stuff success. So we're going to try it out today. If you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's do some quick comparisons. Um, they both pretty much have the same description in terms of what they do. They both uh, say they can be used in all, pretty much the same um, types of cleaning situations. Grills, stoves, tops, ovens, pots and pans, glass and silverware, chrome and tile, soap scum, mineral deposits, washer and dryer, granite countertops. Um, and this one um, pretty much has a similar description of what it can be used on. Now we'll notice right away that one is obviously a, a little smaller than the other. This one was 125 at the Dollar Tree. I believe I got this 4.99 on Amazon. I'll double check that. Um, and so you definitely get more in this one, but uh, the, this one being seven ounces and this one being 17.6, technically this would be more cost effective by a few cents. So uh, we're gonna take all of that into account consideration, but I really just want to see which one cleans the best or if it's pretty much equal. And today, not only will we use, use this in the oven, which of course I made sure it was as dirty as it could get for you, um, <laughs> but we'll also use this on our countertops, which I made a point not to clean it last night so that we can really see uh, how well these two do. Ready? Let's get started. All right, guys, so are we ready to see? We're gonna start inside the oven. You ready to see just how dirty it is? Da, da, da. Let's get a little closer for you to see. As you can see, there is a lot of dirt here on the glass area and even in the back there. So we're gonna take out the racks and we're going to do half and half. We're gonna do half of the Miracle paste from the Dollar Tree on this side and then on this side We're going to use the pink stuff and also in here as well. And we're going to see if we can tell the difference Okay guys before we get started with applying it I wanted you to see the difference and how they look so this is the, the multi-purpose cleaning paste um, This is from the Dollar Tree. You see it's a very pale pink and if you may recall this is the pink stuff, which has a little bit more of a pink fla uh, flavor, um, pink coloring to it. Um, so this is more of a pale pink and this is more of a dark pink, which will probably help us in differentiating <laughs> which side is which as we do this cleaning. So now it's time for us to apply. Okay, so last time one of you suggested that I use the Scrub Daddy uh, to help with this. So we have a brand new Scrub Daddy that we are going to use to apply our paste. So we're gonna start. Um, on this side with the, I was going to call it, the multi-purpose cleaning paste on the Dollar Tree side. So I'm going to just create. Now, one thing I will say about using this is like if you're cleaning something like the oven or the stove top, you're probably going to use all of it. So this is kind of a one use um, situation. Um, whereas the pink stuff, as you can see, I've used it, but definitely want to be able to use this throughout. So I'm actually going to now turn it over on the other side for the pink stuff. Uh, we're gonna do the door first. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let me squeeze out the eyes first. Um, I, I don't wanna wash off this because, you know, now, because this is a little deeper, we're going to kind of do that. Now, I will say the consistency of this one, the cleaning paste, is a lot lighter 
Um, the pink stuff is slightly thicker, but they both are going on pretty easily. Pretty easy. So we have our line of demarcation <laughs> with the two paste and my hands are very pasty right now. So let's look at what we have. Okay, we're starting with our multi-purpose cleaning paste first. And just agitating it and rubbing it into the glass. We'll do the same out here. And once again, you can see that you don't really need to use a whole, whole lot. Um, because once it meets the water, it kind of creates enough to go around and fill in spaces. Right now I'm just putting a little water on it to help rinse some of the paste off. Um, I find this is helpful so you can kind of really see maybe some of the areas where you need to scrub a little bit more. And like I said, I made sure this oven was good and dirty before I tried using it just to see how heavy it is on grime and stains. Now we're coming in with a cloth to help wipe up some of the excess water. Okay, now it's time to move over to the pink stuff. Um, it's funny how it's almost caked on a little bit. Uh, let's rub this one in with our freshly rinsed scrub daddy. Um, I have to say both of them have a similar scent, which is very mild, I have to say. Um, and the application feels very similar in terms of how it feels rubbing it in. It's kind of a smooth thing. Um, so we're going to go over it the same amount of time and with the same level of pressure that we did the other one. And to see if we can tell a difference between the two sides. Just wiping the excess water off of both sides. And some additional Dirt is coming off when I do that. I'm gonna flip over the paper towel and I'm gonna do this side. All right. Okay. All right guys, I'm standing over the oven now. So this side is the multi-purpose cleaning paste. This side is the pink stuff. All right, let's get a little closer here. I really am surprised neither this is a little more caked on. This didn't come up at all. Um, there's still a lot of like grease and spillage on this side. This side overall looks better. Like I said, let's not pay attention to this part. <laughs> let's stick over here. Um, there's a little streaking from just, just drying off. But overall, I would say they're comparable, but I would give a little bit of a nod to the pink stuff. And honestly, one side could have been dirtier than the other, but there's not enough of a difference to say that pink stuff takes this by a landslide. But I do wanna go over some of these spots a little bit more. I like it to look a little cleaner than this, even though it's not too bad. 
Okay, guys, before we try the pink stuff in the oven, I'm going to just go ahead and take a wet paper towel and get like some of this loose grime out. I remember last time trying to mix the paste with that, you know, kind of created a challenge. So I'm getting like some of these, any type of debris off. Um, so that we can just focus on the spots and not have that paste mixed in with a bunch of grimy stuff. Okay. Just to give you a closer look, this is the area in the front we're going to be concentrating on. This is the area in the back. So we're going to do the pink with the multi-purpose paste from Dollar Tree. And in the back, we're going to do the pink stuff. Okay guys, so we're doing our comparison. In the front area here is where we applied the multi-purpose cleaning paste. Now I will tell you, I'm gonna go over the sides again uh, with a, a warm um, cloth. Um, but this is what the multi-purpose from the Dollar Tree did. And this is the pink stuff. Now I will say that with this particular part of the oven, I definitely think the pink stuff was a little bit, sorry about that, <laughs> was a little bit more stellar. Um, as you saw in the beginning, this part had some dark spots and this part had some dark spots. Though it did come up here with the multi-purpose cleaning, I still see some little remnants Whereas back here, it's completely clean. So it's a slight difference. I will say that the multi-purpose cleaning paste from the Dollar Tree worked. I just would say that the pink stuff worked a little bit better on this particular surface. And here, I use the multi-purpose paste. I'm gonna try to actually use the pink stuff on there to see if it will make it come off. Okay, so we're just putting the pink stuff in this area to see if it'll do a little better job than the multi-purpose paste. I've already tried a little bit and I'm seeing a difference. We're just going over the rest of the area. To see if the darkness has come off anymore with the pink stuff. From what I can see, it definitely lightened it much more than the other option. Um, so maybe the pink stuff is a little harder on grime and kind of those baked in, literally, spots in the oven. That would be my assessment. Let me let you see it a little bit closer though. Okay, so I didn't get all of it. I probably could have scrubbed a little bit more, but you can visibly see that a lot of what was originally there after using the multi-purpose paste is much improved after using the pink stuff. Okay, now it's time for us to tr transition to our stove top. And like I said, I did not wipe this down prior because I definitely want to see what it does after general use. Um, and so here is the before. And we're just gonna use this line. We're gonna go right down the middle, multi-purpose on this side, pink stuff on this side, and see if we see a difference in how they both clean the stovetop surface.
So whenever you're using a cloth um, and you're wiping up, you want to make sure that you squeeze as much of the water out of it and rinse it really good to keep the soaps from just regenerating those cells. Uh, makes it a little easier to clean um, once it's just a moist cloth as opposed to a wet one. Of course, this one is still wet, um, so it looks shinier, but um, I think it looks really good. Like I said, we're gonna make sure you wipe up all the residue, because if not, you'll create a little bit of a white haze. Um, this side is now drying, although it does have some of the dropping water. Um, I mean, what I can say, guys, is it's clean. It's clean. I don't really think one did a better job than the other on the stovetop. But let's give it a minute to see after it rests for a little while if anything changes. The top is beginning to dry. Um, it kind of feels the same. Like I said, I probably need to go over this again with the wet cloth because you don't want kind of that, see, see that residue? If you don't wipe it up good, the, the remnants of that paste will still be there. Okay, so it's continuing to dry, but no residue. Looking good. Gonna put these back on. All right, guys, we're taking another look at the oven here. And as you can see, the door definitely looks much better um, on both sides. And the oven looks pretty clean as well on both sides. So there's really not that big of a difference between the multi-purpose solution and the pink stuff, but one may be more accessible to you and easier to obtain. Um, the pink stuff you can get on Amazon though, uh, but they also sell it in the stores. Um, so it's pretty much a matter of preference, <laughs> I guess. I don't really see much difference um, even looking now at this. All right, guys, so that concludes our little comparison between the multi-purpose cleaning paste from the Dollar Tree and the pink stuff that you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link there, but you could also get it um, probably in your local Walmart or Target. Um, I've even seen it in like Ross and Marshalls and things of that nature. Um, I would say that they're about equal in performance. However, I think the pink stuff has a little bit of an edge but it's very slight. So if you're at the Dollar Tree, you see some of these, hey, why not pick it up? It can do the job. But um, if you're trying the pink stuff, that's not a bad move either, especially if you plan to use it um, more than one time. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you're using the pink stuff or what you use to clean your oven and your stove. I'm interested to see uh, what products are out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.